All right, scholars, let's go ahead and we're going to continue learning about another group of immigrants, the Jewish immigrants. So Russians had discriminated against Jews for centuries. Jews had dressed, worshipped, and ate differently from their Christian neighbors. Russia had hundreds of anti-Jew laws by the 1800s. These laws restricted where Jews could live and forbade them from living in big cities or owning land. Assassins killed the Russian monarch Tsar Alexander II in 1881. Nervous government leaders blamed Jews for his murder, even though the killer was not Jewish. Angry Russians raged through Jew Jewish villages. These burning, looting, and killing attacks were called pogroms. Uh, pogroms. This happened repeatedly for more than 30 years. The word pogrom comes from the Russian word meaning like thunder. Many Jews fled such persecution. They hoped to find refuge in the United States. Some 2.4 million Jews from Russia and other countries in Eastern Europe came to the United States between 1881 and 1924. Jews often headed for New York City's Lower East Side neighborhood. There they established shops, newspapers, religious schools, and synagogues, which were community centers and places of worship. The Lower East Side became the most densely populated neighborhood in the city. People lived packed into cheap tenement homes, Sometimes they slept three or four to a room. Uh, some Jews worked as street vendors. They, push, they used push carts to sell everything from coal uh, to secondhand clothes, like hand-me-down clothes. And then the push carts would, vendors would save their money to eventually buy horse-drawn carts and then finally uh, move up into small stores known as like bodegas. Most Jews were poor, but when they arrived in the United States, but they arrived in the United States with a wide range of skills. Jewish people were highly educated compared to Italians. So they were employed as cobblers, which are shoemakers, butchers, carpenters, and watchmakers. Almost half found jobs in the city's garment factories, which were clothes making. Uh, but Jews also faced prejudice and discrimination like other immigrant groups. Most private schools and clubs refused to accept, accept Jews uh, Hospitals refused to hire Jewish doctors, and the New York Bar Association would not admit Jews as lawyers. Uh, and many ads for jobs stated simply Christians only. So, uh, luckily, this cannot happen today in the United States. Um, I want you to go ahead and tell me uh, why in the United States um, can, can jobs not say things like, oh, we're only hiring Christians only. Go ahead and put it in the chat for those on campus or off campus. All right, hopefully you said things like First Amendment rights, uh, which at first aren't granted to citizens. Um, but today, America also has laws that forbid against discrimination based on uh, gender, sexual orientation, race, uh, color, religion, all of those things.